already I, it's been brilliant I've had some really lovely conversations and, and, and I think for me I think one of the things that I worry about with the work that I'm doing is that it can feel like quite a UK centric or quite, or quite a Western centric world view um, and, and it's been very interesting talking already to some of the people from uh, South Korea and from China and so on and, and the sense that I get is I think, I think Europe we in Europe and the UK, I'm still desperately clinging to us being Europe, uh, tend, can tend to... We're in a phase of self-doubt to an extent and we're kind of, we're at risk of, of kowtowing and sort of checking out of, of relevance actually. Um, but uh, but what, what being here, the dark side and the light side, the dark side of it is, is actually, well, of the same point. The, the, the key point that uh, the, to, the conversation I've had have made me realise is that Europe is is still fundamentally important and a massive source of soft power in the world and an, ex and an exporter of culture in a big way, quite an underlying way. And the dark side of that is that we're still pushing a story which isn't going to work. Um, but the, the lighter side of it is that actually I do believe, and I'm, that belief is being reinforced, that if we can do interesting things here and in the UK and, and, and start to shift the role of the individual and, and show that there's a, a higher level of freedom and a deeper pleasure to be found, then I do believe that others look to Europe as a, as a, as a, as a hub of culture and, and, and want to kind of, want to, if they see us experimenting and stuff, they want to get ahead of us and do it better. And that's the kind of race that, that I would love to be part of sparking.